Hey everyone, it's me, Bowser 64 Today I'm going to be showing you how to do something a lot of people don't even know that you can do. As you know, there are various browsers out there. I'm talking about internet browsers that you can try and use, such as Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari, and Internet Explorer. Of course, the default we're all, you know, we've all come to resent is Internet Explorer, right? Well, the thing is a lot of people don't know is in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, we now have Windows Internet Explorer 11 and 10, and they are much better than their counterparts ever were. They're very reliable, and there's really nothing to lose people using them. In fact, I'm going to show you how to install, like, two of the most indispensable add-ons that people always go to other browsers for, like Adblock Plus and Auto Refresh. At least those are the two that I mainly go for when I want to use Firefox or something like that. It's usually to block ads. But guess what, people? Now you can do that in Internet Explorer. It's called an add-on instead of an extension. And what you want to do to do this is you go to Internet Explorer, it brings up Bing, if you haven't messed with it, that is. And then you go over here and search Adblock Plus IE. There you go, you can see right there. And see, it even says Internet Explorer right there. See, it says Install for Internet Explorer. So what you want to do is you want to say, you're going to click that right there. And then you want to do save, so you can run it in case your computer goes offline. <coughs> and once it's finished downloading, you're going to install this, and it is going to actually block ads, like it would in Firefox, um, in Internet Explorer. It's pretty darn awesome. And the, thing, the reason I like Internet Explorer is not because I'm a Microsoft diehard, although that is a big reason. It's because this has seamless integration with Windows Phone, um, and syncing your progress and your history in the cloud of sites visited and favorites and things like that. And as you can see, you can like add sites to apps, and you can um, somewhere along here there's a way to um, well see it integrates with this version of Internet Explorer right here. Say, say you want to actually, you know, like open a web page or whatever. Say we want to go to Google, right? Right, so there it is. So we're going to go to Google in the actual like app version of Internet Explorer. Let me go down here and we do view in the desktop, and then it launches Google in like on the desktop in Internet Explorer. So it's very much improved from what it used to be. So now we've got this done downloading. We're going to click Run, and once it installs, see it knows I have it running. So I want to shut down Internet Explorer, or I can do it with the program, but I choose to do it here. So, uh, yes, go ahead. Even though it's already closed, I want to make sure all instances are closed so nothing goes wrong, because I'm actually having to be recording right now. So now we're going to click Next. It says, you know, set up, installs Adblock Plus for IE 32-bit and 64. You want to hit Next, and then you want to hit Install. There's no adware or crackware that comes with this, so just go ahead and do what you'd normally do. And it's very quick install and it's done. Okay, so now we're going to open up Internet Explorer. And instantly, um, see it, it brings up this. And you want to click Enable. And there you go. See, one thing I like to do, um, what's a site with a lot of ads? Let's say eBay.com. It'll show the ads for a brief second, and then it will get rid of them, usually. Although I don't know how it works with this site, I know how it works with other sites. Um, these are all, these don't really count because this is all eBay stuff. But um, say I want to go to Amazon, and I go to Amazon, right? And there's usually a lot of ads on Amazon everywhere. And, again, these don't really count because they're Amazon, but um, one place I do notice it happening a lot is on, um, well, just a second here. Well, 
anyway the point is it does work as intended so but say this isn't enough right so you want to auto refresh a web page say any page okay you do have some online options like you can go to pagereboot.com and put in a URL in this box and then put your interval of how much you want to refresh per second and then you click start and it does it inside the JavaScript or whatever but there is a plugin that you can actually download for here called Y Refresh. So you want to do Y Refresh, and then see there you go. Um, Auto Refresher. You can get it from CNET. Um, it's really called Y Refresh, but they call it Auto Refresher for some reason. Um, but I already have it installed. So once you do have it installed, what you're going to get is you go in your downloads directory. And there you can see I have Y refresher right there. I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to go next. And then I'm going to go next. And go to next, next, next. And then, yeah, we're good. And it's going to bring up Read Me, which I don't really care about because I've read it. Oh, I haven't read it before, but I mean, I know how to use my computer. It's like, turn on PC. Step two, use PC. And that's it. So. Um, now we're going to open Internet Explorer again, and it's going to throw up this little thing down here. You want to do enable. Now you're good. See, now you have this little bar up here, and you click here, and you can do like every 10 seconds. Say, I want to go to eBay, and I'm watching a price on an item, and I want to refresh, right? So what do I do? There's really no option to do that otherwise, unless you have Firefox. So I'm going to go to every 10 seconds here, and if you watch, it'll refresh every 10 seconds. Really about every 5, but close enough. So, well, I guess it is 10 seconds. But as you can see, it's loading, and then it reloaded. You wait a little more, then it's going to do loading, and reloaded. So, basically, um, this is how you get the basic add-on functionality that you get in Firefox Internet Explorer. So you can use Internet Explorer with Adblock Plus and all those cool extensions if they are built for this. Okay, so for those out guys out there saying, oh, you have to use Firefox and Chrome, IE sucks. Well, it doesn't suck as much anymore because I can now do what most of you guys are doing in Internet Explorer without losing my functionality with the Windows 8 integration right into Internet Explorer itself, which does not happen, let me remind you, in other browsers. Anyway, this has been Bowser N64. Just wanted to share this with the world because no one seemed to know this. And uh, I'll be around with another video. Comment and rate, subscribe. Love you guys. See you with another video later.